they were all this. You know, I have an old MacBook lying around, but it's a little old and out of date. So I thought, just why not install Linux on it? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go, we're on the laptop. So, we got our USB stick right here that we're gonna be using. So let's stick it into the computer, turn it on and hold that option key. There we go. There we go, EFI boot. So let's select it and wait. All right, here we go. We're gonna boot with proprietary drivers. And yeah, so this is loading. So now let's cut to the desktop. All right, here we go. We're in. This is the live environment. Now I hate this trackpad so bad, so I'm gonna use a mouse. So let's open up the compartment, grab the receiver, put the cover back on the compartment. There we go. And plug the receiver into the computer. All right, there we go. Let's close out of that. Click on the installer and wait. Okay, the system is not connected to the internet. Good thing I have the extremely long ethernet cable from a previous episode. So let's stick that into the ethernet port and restart the installer. Install Manjaro Linux. Okay, no warning messages this time, that's good. So we're going to select British English, click next, click next, and set it to Macintosh, and oh my, um, click manual, and um, new partition table, GPT. Let's create a um, 48 megabyte EFI system partition, fat32 slash boot slash EFI and set the file system label to EFI and add the boot flag. Okay, now for this we are going to make it, oh my, we're gonna make it 24576 bytes. we're gonna make it root and scroll down and check root. We're also gonna set the label to Manjaro. Okay, now I'm gonna set this to um, slash home, set the file system label to home. Okay, and next, an EFI system partition is necessary to start Manjaro. You can continue without setting up an EFI partition, but your system may fail to start. Okay, I'm gonna have to reconfigure my EFI partition. All right, we're back. I did the EFI partition properly this time, and now we can continue. What is your name? My name is Whale. Um, I would like to use Whale770 as my username, and let's just call it MacBook41. There we go. Let's call it the password A, A, um, log in automatically and um, don't use the same password for the administrator account. We're, on, we're going to set the administrator account password as root, root. There we go. Next, um, please pick an office suite. Libra office. Next, summary. Um, yep, that's good. Install now. Okay, so this is installing now. So let's start a time lapse in three, two. All right, it's done. Finally, that took like 20 minutes. Anyway, we start now, done. All right, we're finally in. So yeah, this is it. This is Manjaro on a MacBook. options that one what is that file boot vm linus 6.6 .6. 
not found error, you need to know the kernel first. Okay. I think I broke it. Memtest. It's just Memtest. So, yeah, guys. We installed Manjaro, customized it slightly, and checked out all the themes, and accidentally broke it as well. So thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed the video leave a like, if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye! Alright, good news, I got it working! So yeah, I think the reason why the system broke is because um, the update program crashed and caused a file to be corrupted which then led to the system breaking, but however that happened. I reinstalled it and even customized it as well as you can see. And now we have a working install of Manjaro Linux on this MacBook. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.